George Kobeser, Professor of Leadership and Organizational Behavior at IMD, and also veteran hostage negotiator. The second book is Care to Dare. This is fundamental to build trust, to build powerful, impactful leadership that is based on the ability to shut the brain down when the brain is looking for pain. Now we have to understand the brain hates pain and the natural state is to be negative, to survive. That's the one overriding goal of the brain. However, if you are living in survival mode, then you're gonna probably die prematurely because it produces stress and you're gonna make others miserable while you're waiting to die. So you have to be able to turn that mindset towards opportunities, towards growth, towards change, towards curiosity, towards learning. And the best way to shut that flashlight down in the mind, to look for all those positive things, is to have a secure base that cares. It can be a person, but a secure base can also be a home, a country, a goal. All kinds of possibilities are there to help a person feel safe, but safe enough only to dare themselves. So the idea of caring, and then you dare. So how caring should a leader be? 100%. But being able to draw a boundary, being able to fire someone, being able to say no, being able to give tough feedback, to dare. Many employees do not have a caring boss, and so they don't really dare themselves because they're living on fear. Many bosses are caring or rescuing, but they don't dare their employees. The best is when you really, really dare, take risks, step outside the box, develop potential, be able to fail, not let fears drive you. And that's the fundamental be idea behind Care to Dare. You need these protectors that protect only long enough to shut the brain down, to start looking for opportunities, and then you're off and running. That's the foundation of creativity. That's the foundation of entrepreneurship. It's the foundation of all the activities that allow creative change to occur.